Hey, Big Water's Edge. I've had some guys uh, PM me recently about um, the kind of uh, setup I've been using for halibut fishing. and uh, Pretty basic setup. Uh, there's a whole bunch out there. Guys use um, dropper loops, reverse dropper loops, three-way swivels, Carolina rigs. Um, I'm sure there's been a few caught on other things like uh, swim baits and stuff like that, elastics. Um, but anyway, this is uh, my current rig. It's a three-way swivel uh, tied with uh, an improved clinch knot on both the main hook line and the sinker line. Uh, the hook line I use uh, fluorocarbon. Uh, I'm using 30 pound right now because I have a bunch of that stuff and I know some guys use lighter line but um, you know all a matter of preference. I'm sure I'll get to lighter line once I run out of this 30 stuff but anyway uh, again improve the clinch knot uh, going to a uh, snail knot and uh, hook size again matter of preference um, I can go from these number ones up to these uh, uh, circle hooks over here um, huge difference see that um, I've had success with both uh, advantage to the um, circle hook obviously is that it'll catch the um, the corner of the jaw uh, you can actually see a picture of that on one of the postings that I have recently um, again that's a snail knot to a improved clinch knot on the treble hook uh, this is uh, roughly about uh, 18 inches from the main hook to the swivel uh, with about a four to five inch leader for the uh, treble hook and on the sinker end again uh, improved clinch knot about 36 inches to a palomar knot and the reason I'm sorry to a perfection loop the reason I use a perfection loop is because I typically set up my lines at home and what I do is once I set these lines up on my rod uh, as a safety feature what I've done is um, got some of these foam uh, little blocks I don't remember where I got this from I think it was some, some kind of packaging from uh, something I bought but anyway cut a small slit in there you get your treble hook pin it down Oh, I'll try this again. Pin it down right in there. And basically what that does is uh, it's a safety feature. Uh, once I cinch this down on my rod, I'll get this uh, hook, cinch it on one of the guides, tighten it down. That gets tied down. This hangs freely and basically it's not going to snag anything. Um, they don't cost these uh, stinger hooks for uh, for no reason, man. Um, I actually had one catch my finger the other day, and fortunately, um, it, it stung like hell, man. But it didn't go all the way past the barb, so that was uh, that was good. But anyway, um, that's the basic setup. Again, three-way swivel, improved clinch knot. That goes to a snail. The snail goes to the treble using a improved clinch knot. The other end of the swivel. Improved clinch knot with uh, this is regular mono. Again, this is floral, regular mono for the sinker. Goes to perfection loop. And again, the reason I use this is for ease of adding and removing the sinker. Again, as I said earlier, I set this stuff up at home. I leave this loose or I'll tie it down to the, uh, the, uh, the reel handle just so it's not flying around. But what I do is once I get on the water, bait's ready, I'm ready to drop um, whatever area I'm fishing. I've got my sinker ready. Slide it in once, slide it in twice, I'm set. I'm ready to go fishing there. This thing comes off. This gets put away. I'm done. Again, once I'm done for the day, I can simply take this off. I don't have to worry about cutting any line out. That comes off. That gets put away. This. Grab my foam insert. Get that pinned down, and you're set. And again, um, this is a real basic setup. There are several out there. The um, line, the main line to the swivel, 
I do tie down using a um, a Palomar knot. The reason I use a Palomar knot is because these are uh, virtually non-slip. At least they have been to me compared to the uh, the improved clinch knot. Uh, for some reason, the uh, the spectra on the improved clinch knot, I've seen a lot of slippage. Um, I've had instances where I've actually lost the entire setup when it gets hung up on uh, on bottom structure. Um, you know, you can pull pretty hard on the spectra, and um, typically this other line will snap. Uh, but that wasn't happening. What actually was happening was my knot was coming undone. Um, so I was losing an entire rig. Sinkers aren't cheap right now. Lead is very expensive. Uh, you throw in, you know, some fluorocarbon, although it's not much. You know, three feet of um, of uh, mono. You start adding this stuff up after, you know, a few times. This is the important one right here. This, you know, eight ounces can run you, you know, three, four bucks depending on where you buy it. But again, uh, I do use the Palomar knot. It's uh, been virtually non-slip for me in all these past trips that I've had, so it's uh, it's been a great knot. Uh, pulled up some nice halibut, nothing uh, nothing too big yet. I think my heaviest so far is about 11, closer to 12 pounds. Uh, but uh, good fight, um, no slippage, and that's pretty much it. Again, one more time. Main line goes to the swivel with a Palomar knot. The hook end, improved clinch knot. Swivel end, improved clinch knot. Hook gets tied using a snail. The tag end of the snail gets tied to the treble hook using the improved clinch knot. And again, on the sinker, I do a perfection loop. And again, that's just for ease of adding and removing your sinker when you're out on the uh, on the water. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, give it a try. Give anything else a try. The important thing is to try. Try different knots. Try different uh, hooks. Try different weights. Try different lines. Um, and I'm sure you'll find um, what works best for you. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, good luck out there.